Welcome to Sock Babies, the gaming show for the average Joe and far beyond. Far beyond video? Now we're going to audio. Not just any audio, music audio. God fucking damn it. Oh man. We have a big show today. Multiple shows, actually, because we're diving deep into the deepness of all the audios of the video games. We're talking the chip music. We're talking the the, the techno. We're talking the shit that created uh, Crystal Castles, practically. We're talking video game god. We're talking music. early 2000s metalcore. Yeah! No, that's, that's not even fucking... No, no. They don't even go like that. They go, yeah, What shit, do you call that? Yeah. Papa Roach stuff? Yeah, whatever. That, that's called, um... Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I, I'm from that era. Now Hi, Mel. Called. I'm the gutter cat. I'm a little fight, Nick. So let's start this off with um, a little story. So oh, Scars? <laughs> that reminds me. Uh, <laughs> you brought up the pop-up uh, and I hate those roaches. Uh, Shame on you. No, no. Oh. Mm. Then the scars remind me well, 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 about that one song. Well, you know, we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> First, a little brief kind of idea, okay? All right, let's go, bro. Let me tell you a story why I wanted to do this episode. It's special, because it's going to be kind of like a special episode when you think about it. All right, so, you know, I was sitting there in my room thinking about when the old times, the good times when you could play your music in the background of an original Xbox. Yeah, yes, I know you can do that on the Xbox One, I think. Do you mean the Xbox One? The Xbox One. Yeah, no, but I'm good. You gotta tell your viewers that we're not talking about the Xbox One. Oh, yeah, one, yeah, but the well, Xbox one. well, the thing is, I'm talking about the Xbox One, but not the Xbox One. I'm talking about the original Xbox. Oh, okay, the original Xbox One, not the Xbox One. Exactly, the original Xbox One. But because we, we need to simplify this, we'll just call it Xbox One. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so anyway, I'm thinking about the past games where how, like, you know, you, you, go, you go play your Halo and stuff like that, and you're like, hey man, this music's cool, I freaking love that, I'm freaking going all hype and shit like that, but I want to play some of my own fucking badass jazz music, put on some cowboy bebop background music, and start fucking blasting some fucking aliens. It's all like, man, you're like, damn, that's some jazzy ass shit right there. Imagine this shit, you're, char- you're charging up your, your plasma pistol, you're like, alright, three, two, one, just... <laughs> Right. Anyway, though, so that got me the idea of, like, you know, reminiscence about this stuff. Oh, but because this is a fucking huge-ass topic, we're going to break this down into about three episodes, maybe. maybe we're four. actually going to warn you this time before. We're warning you, so exactly, because last time I didn't do that shit, and it kind of kind of backfired on us a little. Warning, straw men approved. Watch the old episodes. Do it. Because well, there's a lot of content in there, and, like, you know. And it's for the two people. Yes, we know who you are. We know who you are. Jane and Bill. Watch it. <laughs> you guys can continue to watch it. Now, anyway, so yeah. <laughs> we'll be up there soon, guys. <laughs> don't, worry, don't worry, we're just gonna we'll just give us. Hey, Rodrigo, it. Jeremy, John, Philip, S- right. Sally, Trevor. One of those, I forget. It's uh, yes, man, John. Anyway, yeah, though, yes, can, man. yeah no, anyway, let, let's let's move on. So today's episode, we're gonna be focusing on the eight and sixteen bit eras of music. Mm. Why eight and sixteen bit eras of music? Because Atari doesn't count. Yeah, in part one. God damn it. Did it up, did up, did up, enter fucking theme song right here. But Well, if this, the theme song's playing, we don't have to go biddly daddy dee skibbly scat, you know? Well, yeah, but probably by the time we actually upload this thing, actually, maybe I should put the theme song. We'll talk about that some other time. We'll talk about it another time. Another time. Today, we're talking about, right now, we're going to talk about the 8 bit and 16 bit musics. Oh. What, what comes to mind? I mean, damn, I mean, like. Get right? This is a big topic. What comes to my, uh, you know, you want to shoot first? You want to shoot first? For me? What, what do you remember right. about eight, eight bit music? I now think? let's 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 not jack off each other right now. If, if, when everyone thinks about the eight bit, everyone says this game, that game, but we're gonna have to say it right now. Yeah. Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's dun, exactly. Dun, 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 uh, okay. Daily. That's David. Daily, Might as well just, David. <laughs> just branch off from a subsection of that. Nintendo music was always. A big thing. You gotta remember that back then it was either Atari or freaking this new machine called Nintendo. People oh, also the ColecoVision. <laughs> yeah. It's along came Atari. Yeah, right? Uh, wait. Oh, he said Coleco. Coleco. Anyway, yeah, I don't know their theme song, sorry. It's ColecoVision. Yeah, so, Who cares? so anyway, so, you know, back then you were just so used to the beeps and boops, like beep, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, you, you didn't know that Nintendo comes along and they're like, hey, just what? Boom, bam. Freaking Super Mario Brothers, you're like, do 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 do, more. David. <laughs> and it's, it's like freaking. You're like, well, that's that's cool. I mean, Nintendo has kind of like this whimsy about them. That's always been Nintendo's signature, obviously. Mm. And it's funny when you think about the songs that, like, you know, when you first boot up a Nintendo, uh, or not obviously that old. I don't. I can't remember booting up a Nintendo for the first time. Actually, I yeah, I, I, I literally can't remember. I remember my brother having two Nintendos, but. 
me booting up. No, it was always my Sega Genesis. That being well, let's said, go back to the 8 bit. But that, yeah, but that being said, Nintendo had some good music. I mean, like, um, unfortunately, because we suck at freaking doing research, I do not know the main music guy's name from Nintendo. I don't who did do all that research. Stuff. But I will tell you this, dude, making the music for things like Kirby and freaking Mario and... <laughs> Metroid. <laughs> and Dan, I was saving Metroid for like a big section, man. We're going to talk about Metroid. Let's talk about Metroid. Let's talk about Metroid. In the freaking kind of thing about Nintendo whimsy, you got this dark fucking badass soundtrack. Mm-hmm. It's like boom, boom, boom. What's and that? all this fucking like, you know, those, the teens and the booms at the beginning of the Metroid music. Oh, yeah, like. It's like boom, mm-hmm. boom. I can't remember the Metroid song now. Yeah, it's all Metroid, it's Metroid, 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 like, pretty much, I uh, uh, mean, uh, you could argue that it brought back gaming from the dev. They actually so, did. You know, th- and they did. Yeah. They did. So, I mean, that's but, from the Europe. Of course, you know, so 8 bit, you know, you could think of Nintendo, but it's not all Nintendo's franchises that brought out the badass music. Oh, my God. You know, back then, you gotta think, like, companies like freaking Konami and Catcom were on top of this. They're just, they're just hitting on each other because they're they trying to. on com- each other. Dude, Castlevania. Ugh. Dude. David, Dave, David, David, Dave, David. We'll save that one for 16 bit. We were actually thinking of like freaking. David. Nice, right? <laughs> That's for Castlevania, like with the ditas and all that stuff. Like Castlevania, the whole Castlevania series in general has the most best music. Yeah. Some of the best music on the Nintendo uh, entertainment system. Dude, I kid you not, a lot of people try to compare it. I mean, some people are they love that stuff, but there's a huge following just for Nintendo shit. Oh, they dude. call it Nintendo Core for Christ. Oh yeah, Christ. I mean Nintendo I mean like for Christ is Christ. I mean know? like <laughs> you know, start for Nintendo, I mean thing like Konami's group those guys had a freaking gold, dude. Those guys would create music that was freaking like they put you in the atmosphere, dude. It's like you you got like this whole freaking dark freaking Dark castle theme going on in the back, and you know you're going through these fighting zombies and skeletons and stuff. You're like, shh. The music just adds to the atmosphere. It makes it badass. Like, hey, I'm a badass fucking hunter. I'm gonna go fucking whoop ass on the first level. Then it drops you off on the second level, and you're like, oh fuck. <laughs> you know you hear those ominous tones. You know it's probably a water level when it's like. Oh my god! I hate any goddamn uh. water level. <laughs> You're gonna go slow. You cannot be able to breathe. <laughs> of course, of course. You know, what's it called? Not to be shown up. Capcom when they were at their prime. Oh my god, man! Mega Man music. Any goddamn <laughs> Mega Man song is just <laughs> fiend up. Yeah, exactly. Right, freaking um, Mega Man's music. Even starting from the first one, just. Well, I mean, like, it's in the name. I mean, in Japan, he's named Rockman. Why? Because he doesn't throw rocks. Because he rocks. Because he rocks, man! And here they call Mega Man because they want to be better. Which is stupid, because when you think about it, then when his freaking sister's called Roll. Because Mega and Roll. Because, you know, in America, we're fat. We gotta understand Mega this, Roll. <laughs> we saw a Cinnabon, and we thought, yes, perfect for America. Well, in, in Japan... Rock and roll because that's not a twelve-year-old's fucking wet dream. Just saying, right? That. I got a great idea. This know, character's rock and roll. Yeah. It was actually like a twenty-something-year-old man. Well, let's face it. You ever seen anime writing? It is like from a twelve-year-old. And that's we're talking about the greatest anime ever. Fucking, um, you know, um, what was it called? Um, wait, one sec, one sec. It was called um, Cory in the House. There you go. Yeah, Cory in the House. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was Cheetah Girls, but I was mistaken. The Cheetah Girls, dude. It's the Cheetah, Cheetah Girls is is is. Cheetah, I think it's overrated as an ending. Cheetahific. Yeah, that and you know um, Oz. <laughs> Ever seen Oz? Oz the, 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 and the anime. Yeah, Oz. oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, remember that one part with the, the Aryan race trying to defeat the black race? Oh, it's crazy. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> terrible. that's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but but we're, we're not going to anime, even though Mega Man has its own anime. Let's not and talk about rock and roll. Rock and roll. Stupid. Yeah. Name. Freaking stupid name. So they changed him to Mega Man, not Rock Man, because he doesn't throw rocks. They didn't want to confuse the American audience. Yes, it's the 80s. You know, so, they, there's so many Voltrons, you could have to call him Mega. <laughs> yeah, duh. So, you know, they can just make things awesome, they named the other character base. Because it totally fits with the musical motif. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. So, rock, roll, and bass. Yeah. 
his doctor's well, name is Trevor. Remember this? God damn it. Well, remember this, so remember this. You ever with these rock and roll? No one knows about bass. Yeah, I was like, what's the bass guitar? I don't get it. Well, that person has to remind you what bass is, you, you muppet. No! No! No, either way, bass came out in the 60 bit. We'll get to that in a little bit. No, you said bass! I know, oh, sorry. I got carried away with the musical thing yeah, of Capcom. Boy. You know what my what Oz Capcom <laughs> do, did? What? Things like freaking Strider. Ooh. You know, like freaking music going like, oh shit, I'm feeling like a fucking robotic ninja. That's exactly what you go with. Fucking fast action robotic Strider ninja. Was, wasn't a Strider 16? Uh, no, there was actually... Oh, a, Nintendo one, huh? Nintendo! Was it? Yeah, there was. Huh. And then, you know, things like freaking, um, oh, DuckTales. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or, you know, back then, you know, Disney, like, Disney wasn't kind of like the big juggernaut it was. It kind of was still. Yeah, it was, you know. Was, I mean, but, but, you know, they created things like DuckTales and stuff. And, you know, back then, you know, again, yeah, like, Nintendo I'll, I'll was all this, though, and shit. I'm sorry, I'll say this about uh, Disney back in the day. Uh-huh. Everyone says they're Nazis and all, but they still worked with Warner Brothers and made one of the greatest crossovers ever, you know. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Exactly. If you want to say, hey, man... That's bullshit. Look, well, guess what? When was the last time you seen Marvel vs. DC? That would be the most bombest fighting game ever. Right? Yes. That being said, not all Nintendo songs were great. Nope. I mean, Who Framed Roger Rabbit's song was terrible. Yeah. It was like, you know, okay, but, you know, because everybody expects it, everybody does, everybody knows LJN, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. LJ, LJN, LJN, you know, we're all freaking... LJN. Let's go. LJN music, she pretty much sucked the majority of them. Yeah, LJN, think about that, you know. I mean, yeah, LJN was a toy company, and they published a lot of games for people, and they probably, they didn't really make them. I mean, they made some of them, I think, but... They made some of the games, but, you know, they just... First of all, they got some developers and said, hey, you, you worked on a computer, and so guys like, no, like, it doesn't matter, you're hired. <laughs> Here's so you're some hired. sand. Make- Here's some sand. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Make a game. <laughs> <laughs> 16-bit. 8-bit, sorry. The 8-bit era had a lot of sin with LG. Oh, I mean, like, but, I mean, like, we can't just stick on, on you know, that's terrible. Well, it's, it, 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 I mean, it, 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 you know, let's talk about good things. Because before, we, you, before we jump off, though, we, we didn't mention a certain other series. Ooh. A Zelda. Uh, well, okay, let's go back to Nintendo first. Yeah, we have to, because we didn't because mention Zelda. I know the, Zelda the, is known for music, its sound effects, everything from the sound of the boo doo 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 and the fucking doo 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 or when you like you trip over a rock and you find a chest, you're like you found it. <laughs> yeah, da 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 da. You found it. I mean, like Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo created fucking games and game music. Mm-hmm. I want to fucking tell somebody to argue otherwise because there probably is, but you know. You mean create games? Game audio, like fucking like me songs that will you know live with you we'll forever with you. and yeah. shit. You Disney know style. Let's just face it. Nintendo Disney of Name me, exactly. Name me a song from Pong. Oh, you know. Because um, there is no goddamn song. Big, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. or Pong. Yeah, yeah, go Pong. You imagine that they actually had a CD-based system in Pong to start. We're gonna start with balls going left and right. This is Pong. <laughs> <laughs> Bing, boom, there was a Pac-Man cool. fever. Oh, yeah. Pac-Man fever. Yeah. Motherfucking dick licking Pac-Man fever. <sighs> we let that go to the moon. We did, huh? We let that go to the moon. Oh my god. We well, gotta remember the 80s had a lot of good music too. The 80s was amazing. That and a lot of higher keys and shit like that, you know? So, like, Pac Man people had to do it. <laughs> right? <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, so anyway, um. Oh, come on, dude. We gotta really. We gotta talk about fucking. Um, the 6? No, Final Fantasy. Oh, Final Fantasy. Square. 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 Was one of those um, game uh, series that gave you music that that fit the tone. You know, you're in this magical fantasy land. You know, you come across some fucking dorks. <laughs> Orcs, my bad. Orcs, dorks, you know. Where you stay happy when I get? Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> Well, I mean, you gotta think that freaking that, that <laughs> fantasy, Final Fantasy created that whole battle music. Hell that, yeah. I mean, like, it's like I'm not trying to say these people created this stuff because you know that stuff wasn't. But come no. on now, if there wasn't no Final Fantasy battle music, you think any JRPGs, especially any JRPGs actually existing? Would actually freaking have a chance? Hell no! No, no. These all... are the guys where you bought a beer, and when you couldn't open it, you're like, God damn it! Oh, 
I popped it. Da, 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 you know? <laughs> uh, you drink. That, and that's the thing about 8 bit. 8, 8 bit times was all about the jingles. Yeah. Da, 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 oh, dude, I forgot about Sunsoft. Oh. Blaster Master. Sunsoft Blaster Master. Batman. Oh, dude, my homie Prince Blum, straight da, da, up loves da, 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 that. Yeah, the original Batman for an NES was is freaking has a killer ass soundtrack. That's a soundtrack da, da, you can listen to, man. Da, 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 da. Dun, 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 dun. You know, you know, um, I'm a, I'm a shout out, even though I, you know, I, we're probably not repping, repping them. Right. Is, uh, I'm a shout out a band called Super Mad NES or Madness, if you want to call them that. Okay. They, they, they're taking old Nintendo soundtracks and yeah. they're going into like a playing them with hard heavy metal guitars and shit. Is that like that uh, Metroid metal? It's sort of, but like I mean, these guys are pretty doing pretty good. I mean, they're literally doing the whole soundtracks. They did Mega Man X. They did freaking uh, Castlevania Three. They're doing Batman. Oh man! So they're I mean, just, like you know, they're just doing the hits. Hell they're yeah. doing the hits. So, like, hey yeah. man, dude, I'll give props to them because I I, I, I dig it. I dig, they're Mega Man X thing. Oh, is there any lyrics? Ghouls and ghosts. No, it's it's the it's the songs. I know, but like no lyrics, just like instrumental. It's just instrumental. I can get that behind uh, that. Big yeah, time. you know, fucking. Uh, so you know, kudos to you guys. I mean, I saw them at the Anime Expo too. Yeah. So they were, they were actually performing live there. Holy cool. shit. They're like, Were you guys ready to rock? <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm, Yeah! They're rolling bass! Yeah! We play some freaking Batman! And you're like thinking, Oh, no, 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 no. No. They're like doing the freaking <laughs> NES. <laughs> and yes, look at. Like the one, car music. <laughs> one guy goes in the mic. Bart, Bart, and shit. <laughs> Yeah, Pac-Man and then you know uh, you got, yeah Sunsoft Sunsoft said they do a game called Journey to Silius what? Just, uh, Journey to Silius it was a game that was gonna be a Terminator game yeah but it just became its own game because you know Terminator you know okay so anyway uh, Not so nice or something or? yeah something like that they just oh. didn't want but it became its own game but the music just when you start up the freaking the, the, the game it's like it goes dun, 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 dun. Dude, it's all freaking like this epic, like, whoa, I'm about to go on an adventure, man. <laughs> yes, because when you play, you sit there and play games, that's what you do, it's like go on adventures. You know, you don't know, you don't, you don't smack your genitals around and smoke a, a joint. We all know, we watch Ready things. Player One, that's totally how we freaking all geeks think. I'm gonna say one thing, fuck whoever thought about the back's uh, history for that movie. It's a good movie, I didn't see the whole thing, but the intro pissed me off. My favorite video game is GoldenEye. My person I love the most is Aja. We're not at 64 yet. You stop. We're not gonna fucking go to 64. We're going to 64. But let's, after that, let's go to 16-bit. Mm. Let's go to So anyway, the 8-bit era was great. It had its own chip tunes, you know, freaking uh, bust a move and all that stuff. I mean, like we oh, could go on all day, dude. I, I know, about bust a nut. We could, oh. we, we could, we could go on all day. <laughs> I'm out thinking bubble bubble, but we can go on day. But you know, we had a certain oh, yeah, amount of time, so let's go. Let's talk about freaking uh, 16 bit era, <gasps> and then that's when you could talk about bust a move. Bust a move. Yeah. yeah. That's totally freaking bunk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, that was a. Uh, um, what was that? What was that? Adventure Island. Oh, oh Adventure Island. I have that, not played that game in a long, well, long 16, ass time. But anyway, what's cut? No. Sixteen bit man. This is the yeah. this is the thing that made music, like like. Oh yeah, dude. Okay, this made so music, Jesus Christ, where do we start? Okay. Um, All right, I want to fucking start. I want to light this blunt right now. Light and just it up. Say, Streets of Rage series. The Streets of Rage series, man. This is how I knew I was into fucking video games. When I boot up part one, dude. That fucking intro. Oh, yeah. And, and, and then, dude, it's just that the whole thing in, and then slowly went... We're all piano, dude. You couldn't put piano back in the day unless... The only the only way you could was the 16-bit era because it had, the, it had the, the power and the, the actual audio chips to do it. And... When you played it and it stopped, it went dun 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 well, dun, dun you know, the start. God you know, damn. just like Nintendo, Sega dominated 16-bit music. Oh yeah. And I mean, like you can make you can make your arguments. Everybody, oh, you know, Super Nintendo had its freaking multiple channels and stuff. Doesn't matter, dude. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because when you play Sega games, you remember, you get that kind of like ah. Nostalgia what? feeling, you know. This is how you see it. Right I mean, nobody goes back and like plays sick and Super Nintendo games. It's like, hey, this brings me back to my childhood. What well, they do, but yeah, you know what I'm what? saying. But, <laughs> but I'm talking about the music, though. I mean, like when you hear a sound, like okay, you, you, okay, okay. Like, like, I'll like, say this. I'll say this. Gamers, excuse me. Like, like, like fucking gamers. 
we'll fucking go back to Super Nintendo. The hell yeah, kick-ass motherfuckers who love to listen to a record go to Sega, no, goddamn Genesis. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, I mean, damn, I mean, Sega Genesis, I mean, like, it w- was my favorite, obviously. Mm-hmm. I mean, fuck. But, like, what I'm talking about, like, you know, like... Sega knew the sound back then. Though. They did, man. You know, I mean, like, yeah, their commercials are all about being badass rad and, shit, and shit and rad and tubular. And Whoa! But, <laughs> but reeking them. Um, but rad their abuse. music, like, because they were they made arcade games. Yeah. And back then, arcades were amazing places to go to. And so, you know, you go there and you know you feel like this, like, whoa! I mean, like video game land. Not fucking Captain and the Game Master video land. You're in the video dome, dude. In the video dome. Video dome. I know that's Nick Arcade. Um, Oh my god, Nick Arcade? (laughs) Remember that? I remember that. My name is Nick and it's my arcade. (laughs) (laughs) That's not how it went. But uh, what's it called? (laughs) But yeah, so what's it called? Um, Yeah, you know, when you you play Sega games, I mean, like, just like, it has kind of like a, a... a beautiful thing, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog. Like yeah. the first time you put that up, like, yeah. and you're like, it's that, you know, Streets of Rage, as you were mentioning. I'm telling you, man, that the sound chips were amazing. Yeah, fuck Final Fight. <laughs> it's all about Streets of Rage. I got a rage, man. I mean, dude, part one's intro alone said this is my favorite fucking game. And then when you jump into the first level, uh, damn. <sighs> and the boss mu- music and the second mm-hmm. boss. By the way, whoever made the second boss and kiss my ass because I've heard him. <laughs> because there's a strategy, of course. But when you're a kid, you don't know it yet. You don't have the fucking internet. You don't. Have, and I didn't. Ha- and this was the ghetto. You think I had fucking um, uh, a Sega? Ain't nobody got magazine. no Game Pro. Ain't nobody got no freaking uh, uh, Nintendo Power or a Sega. A Sega uh... from the mad streets of Wisconsin, guys. Yeah. Down. Yeah, and I was like, you didn't have Nintendo Power? No, um, we were dying. We were starving. We were fucking... Ain't nobody had no Sega Visions. Dude, we, we cracked our, our... Our moms and dads cracked uh, ramen noodles and had fucking broccoli just to make it a meal. Y'all uh, make... Right? Eat your lobster and you have your Nintendo Power magazines. Fuck off. Right, right, right. No, but, um... <laughs> but, you know, not everything was Sega. Not, not everything, everything was Sega. Sega. Well, we Dude. turned some Sega gems because, God damn it, Sega is freaking amazing. It's Sega. I mean... But, like, can, but you know, we gotta go to Super Nintendo. Yep. Super Nintendo, uh, I mean, like, no matter what you say, it's Super Nintendo. It's Super Nintendo. Yeah, they had some. It's the Super Nintendo. First of all, you don't. You can. You go back to like the classics, Mario, Zelda, and Metroid, and then you fucking turn those bitches up to eleven. <laughs> you right. Right. Dude, Metroid um, was actually got me spooked up. It kind of got me oh. afraid. I'm like, this music's really. Dun, 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 the first time you fight freaking really, really yeah. is kicking your ass, and you're like, holy fuck! It's like, dun, 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 dun. you're like, you're literally in a space fight, mm-hmm. and you're just like, Jesus, freaking dino bastard! I'm a dinosaur. I'm based off the Alien series. Then, Take this. You know, you, you're just like walking around like, oh, my favorite part in, in, in Super Metroid when you're in the in the in the forest area. Oh man. <laughs> The one that freaked me out was the when you first see the ghosts. Oh yeah. Those those fucking ghosts. You're like, whoa, what the hell's that? Yeah. And, shit, um, weird shit. Speaking of which, then there's um, Super Mario Brothers. Oh, not Super Mario Brothers. Um, you know, Super Mario World. Super Mario World. Remember, I did not have a fucking Sega Genesis. You, you mean Super Nintendo? Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, this is opium I'm, I'm taking right now. A lot of opium. Sponsored by um, Torpedo. <laughs> Sierra Nevada Tropical Torpedo. There's one. Best our, heroin ever. There's our there's our one for the show. Yeah. But anyway, I never had a super, uh, a super Nintendo when I was growing up. My cousin did, and I played in his, but he, his ass was in Arizona, so it's it was a fucking blue moon, put it that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, Super Nintendo has freaking... Uh, oh, of I'm course, amazing. it has music. It's, Dude, it's, just, name, just name it already. Just, I know you want to say it, just name it. Name the game. Uh, Star Fox. Really? Mm, I'll say I'll say one thing though. I, I know I know what's one subscriber will actually love that because right he, because you know you go in there and you say no but he's a in, in the owl house he's a good, he was the same man you got that fucking Star Fox and go when he was talking shit and I'm like man I don't have that shit no I mean come on it's like if they did it in the Nintendo they came back and Konami decided to come back. Boom! Castlevania 4. Super Castlevania 4. Super sexy. 
it. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't going for it. I mean, you can go like, forever, man. There's a lot of freaking dotas in our fucking show today. There's a lot of dun we're, we're just singing today. Nothing <laughs> but underwear. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Very musical episode, but yeah, it's a musical. Oh man, episode. like, just like, like, liked it, and like the previous generation before Konami and Ka- uh, Capcom went at it again. We're fighting each other with that shit, <laughs> right? Freaking oh, dude. Oh fuck, dude. <laughs> you know what's going to Oh, I know, but like, dude. First of all, Capcom and their many thousands of versions of fucking Street, um, Street Fighter Two. Oh, dude. I mean, but dude. The classicness of Street Fighter 2. I mean, Street Fighter 2 sounded amazing. Street Fighter Championship Edition sounded amazing. <laughs> Super Street Fighter 2. Right? Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> what was that? Let's give another shout out because I want to hear these fuckers now. What was the name of that one Nintendo um, Nintendo band that, that remixes bomb ass music and makes it bosser? Um. Which guy? Uh. The band or. Uh, I know there's like a Nintendo Wii guy. He no, like you a, saw it in the, the expo? Oh, freak, oh yeah, but I forget, Super Mad Aeneas. Super Mad Aeneas, I gotta check that out. I, I don't know how to call them uh, Madness, I don't really pay attention to that. But uh, anyway, they did also Mega Man X. Fucking Mega Man X is soundtrack. <clears throat> Probably one of the best soundtracks out there. When it comes to freaking, when it comes to freaking uh, video games. At least in Super Nintendo era. It's, it freaking encapsulates everything that's badassery about Mega Man. You know, it's all like... Dude, 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 freaking, you're in that, like, okay, you're in the ice place, you're like, you, you get this kind of like weird weather report kind of music, like, <laughs> doo, 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 and it's all like fucking like, it's all fucking sounds all icy and shit, you're like, whoa, this is like, I'm in a badass freaking Arctic area. You know what reminds me? I'm gonna jump to the fucking Sega Genesis again. Because just because you said ice no. okay. was um, Sonic 3's fucking ice level. When you just oh, you shoot yeah, down with yeah, that yeah. fucking uh, uh, that uh, snowboard. Oh yeah. Oh David, 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 David. Apparently though, Michael Jackson actually worked on that, or he did oh, yeah. work on it. But he's like, hey man, we can't put all my music, so I'm not gonna put my. Oh yeah, supposedly, supposedly he did the carnival stage in Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Three. They're all oh, bomb, dude. Oh man, like dude, uh, fucking the desert stage. It, 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 Mm. Freaking my favorite one of my favorite ones. Was that part freaking, two? Uh, no, 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 not the part two one. The one from part three. Uh, the stage. The fucking uh, the the temple stage. Is oh of, yeah. Dude. Oh no 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 the underground stage, the one that goes fucking uh, underground stage. Yeah, it's like the lava re- lava reef zone. Oh. Fucking that's, that's, that's a good one. That's that was a good one. I mean, like, jeez, like, dude, like, Sonic's a good series and all, but I'll say I re- I'm on- I remember the most of it from the music actually. You know? Mm-hmm. I mean, my first song from uh, from all the the games actually was from Part Two. Labyrinth was- Zone. No, it's the one we're in the caves and shit. That's the one. That's oh yeah. Oh, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> David, David, David. The funny thing is, David doesn't listen to this podcast. <laughs> David doesn't? No, he doesn't. Why doesn't he listen to this podcast? Well, maybe he'll listen to it this time. Well, again, only like from the Owl House, like one guy listens to it, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, but anyway, what's called? <laughs> but I mean, Sonic, Sonic had music. I mean, like, you know, yeah, Sonic, you know, they got repetitive the games, but hey, you know, it's not about the games, it's about Run the music. Run fast. Hit box, Sonic box. Mania is amazing. It is actually. I, I no, I saw you play it. It was, it was a shit, dude. I didn't buy it yet, but I, I, I do. They just released like Sonic Mania Plus. Ooh, I'll probably get that. It's and then next week they're gonna release Mega Man X Collection. Legitly? Oh, that's good. Oh. Whoa. I, mean, what I, I don't even have the cash, and I'm gonna buy it. What systems? For PlayStation 4 and Xbox and, we, and Switch. So the systems. <laughs> now I'll systems. say this. I'll say this. Uh, Nintendo, I can now call you a system. Never mind, because you have fucking faulty cracks in your systems from overheating. Suck it. So anyway, um, that's going to be a sweet-ass game, though, man. You know, yeah, oh, no. I want to get it. I really want to get it. Dude. I mean, like, I mean, it doesn't bug me too much. I mean, the only thing is I'll be missing the Mega Man X7, X8. <laughs> Fuck it, on Switch. But I got all the Mega Man Xs on my fucking Vita, so I'm, your not, Vita? I'm not hurting. Get down, high five. Hi-ya. That was digitally added just for sound effects. Right? No, but Mega Man X, the Mega Man X series in general has great music. Mm. I mean, like, well, once we get to the 32 bits and all that stuff, we'll talk about the 1364 and all that. Oh my so, god, another Sega Genesis game I just popped in my oh, head. Oh, dude, just keep going, keep rolling. I, Sega, I know, I know, I know, I know. Sega. That's just like a fucking jingle. Oh, god. Sega. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, Shinobi 3. Oh, I was gonna talk about any that. fucking stage. Freaking, yeah, any yeah, 
yeah, the first stage, dude, dude. The first stage, you're like, you're running, like, dun, 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 Oh, my God, dude. Remember the one with that weird bioweapon big fucky thing? Oh, yeah. Fuck it, that, that freaking Ninja Turtle style surf stage. Oh, oh man. dude, Ninja Turtles are fucking... Ninja, Ninja Turtles? Turtles? Yeah. Freaking Ninja, oh uh, Turtles in Time. The that Turtles one. in Time. Every time you put it off, some like like R&B singer comes out in the bag and goes, Turtles in Time! <laughs> and it goes away, you know? <laughs> right? Out of no, here. no, that was a freaking... That one has a good soundtrack, too. I mean, like... Yeah. <laughs> oh man, it's like Jesus Christ. Yeah, that like when you think about video game music, you don't think about like the PS2 or the 64. Oh, no, no, you, you literally think the 16-bit or 8-bit, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, like, dude, like I said, Konami has a has freaking Castlevania. Dracula X had amazing soundtrack. I mean, see, when I want to listen to music, I'll boot up the game. Not gonna lie, but I know a couple of homies that would actually um, listen in their car and shit. Fucking dude. And fucking when I, and I when I burn them after, it, they'll still have that. Obviously, music Legend on. of Zelda. Zelda, Legend of of Zelda freaking uh, Link to Past had great music. La- uh, Link's Link's Past. Oh Jesus Christ! I mean, like I know we're repeating ourselves, but Final Fantasy VI. Final. F- oh, dude. Final Fantasy three, six, whatever you want to call it. Any of them. There's gonna be one guy like, hey guys, you don't know about Regan or some right? shit like that. No, 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 no. This is catering to that guy because we all know Six had amazing soundtrack, first of amazing all, gameplay. First of supposedly all, supposedly better than Seven. I don't. Know. I know, but Philip doesn't count. You know, fuck Philip. <laughs> That's not cool, guys. Yeah, no, no. Final Fantasy VI was amazing and everything. You could suplex a train, but yeah, what's good? Yes, you can suplex a train. From what game? Final Fantasy VI. Really? Yeah. Is that the one where you're in, in, in mechs? Yeah. I never played that one, dude. Yeah, it's great music. Dude, I know, but like, the Final first Fantasy time I ever Fred, saw it was my, again, I'll go back to my cousin from Arizona. I saw him boot it up. I'm like, damn, this is awesome. And then my mom's like, we gotta go. I'm like, go, oh, fantastic. We're gonna go back to Wisconsin. <laughs> now, I know we're missing so many things, so many songs, so many freaking things, but we gotta get a kick. We have, there's time. I mean, we, again, if you guys want like a five hour podcast, I mean, we'll go into detail about everything, but that ain't gonna happen. Oh my God. Imagine I don't give a fuck how many Toe Jam you wanna hear. <laughs> There's a guy with a Toad Jam and Earl fucking shirt saying, Sing the song, bitch. No, it's like, give, no just give me the song. Well, you're doing Dean's No, shit. you're going to hear Super Widget. Da, 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 Super Widget? Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's an obscure one. Super Widget. Mm-hmm. Is that uh, all about it? You're this alien, and you transform into shit? I think it was a cartoon. You know what? There's one game that, for some reason, I like for the music. Yeah, but I drove... Wait, yeah, no. Columns. Oh, I fucking love Column's fucking music, dude. You're like, doo doo doo, like the yeah, whole time, I'm like, like oh, okay. look at my fancy pants. Like, do 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 do. And then she started getting all faster. Do, 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 do. Do, yeah. It was like another version of Tetris, and everyone's like, that's the poor man's Col- Tetris. Col- I'm like, Col- you're playing video games. There's Col- no such thing as poor man's in anything with right? video games. You right? Know? You own a fucking video game system. Column's better than Tetris. Yeah. It is. Columns I, fucking, is I would shit. fucking play this. I fucking begged for a freaking Columns fucking phone game. That's how much I want to play that fucking game. There's a Columns phone game? Mm. No, it doesn't exist. Oh my god. If it does, then I'm fucking way behind in the Give me a sec. Um, Alright, let's keep talking, but I'm gonna check if there's a Columns phone game. <laughs> so Columns 3 came out, comes uh-huh. out. Nobody knows whatever happened to Columns 2. It just went straight to Columns 3. And that had pretty Wait, good for real? Yeah. Well, there was no... Uh, but but you know but of course when it got I think puzzle games what comes to mind Doctor Mart no Mean Bean Machine baby Mean Bean Machine I'm sorry we're all Sega right here bitch ain't no Super Nintendo here no Super ain't Nintendo no, I don't give a damn how many freaking oh, freaking fuck dude check this out oh it's jewels but it's columns uh, but it better have the music though if you don't have the music it's not columns it doesn't matter I'm installing install it yeah no it better have the music though yeah so, but um yeah you know freaking uh, Mean Bean Machine. <laughs> Fuck Dr. Mario. Ain't nobody wanna play Super Dr. Mario. <laughs> Dr. Mario. Ah, the doctor. That's a, yeah, that's a, do, do, oh my god. Da, 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 da. I played Dr. Mario the other day. Dude, I forgot it's all about Dr. Dr. Mario, dude. I mean, like, it has. I mean, I, no, I love the music Dr. Mario. I love Dr. Mario, but. Uh, uh-huh. I mean, I, like, I mean, if I had to choose puzzle games, uh-huh. I mean, you know, like, if it's gonna be fucking ladder, it's gonna be fucking Puyo Puyo, <sighs> then Tetris, then Puyo Puyo Tetris. And Puyo Puyo, for all you guys who don't know, that's Mean Machine, Machine, and that's uh, uh, Kirby, Ava- no, Kirby Avalanche. No, what is it called? Kirby. Uh... Kirby's Sexual Adventures with Yeah, with it's dogs. the same game. It's all the same game. It's all Puyo Puyo. <laughs> and then Columns, and then Tetris. I, I said Tetris like two times. And Tubes. Nintendo Tetris doesn't count. Is there a Super Tetris? I don't think so. 
Super Tetris? This could be a Super Tetris, but I don't know. Uh, I am drinking a lot today. It's all right. You're, we're you're, singing a lot, too. We're yeah. drinking. We're drinking. We're drinking this Tropical Torpedo by Sierra Nevada. <laughs> the home of the weasels. <laughs> yeah! Home of the weasels. Yeah, anyway, so 60-bit era had its freaking amazing music. I mean, like, again, I know we're all talking about Sega games. We're going through this fast. Oh, you yeah. Know, ghouls and Ghosts. I mean, there's not... <laughs> There's other games like 16 Bear. Well, all right, here's a, here's a stupid one. You know what? Never mind. I'm not even gonna say it because now I know what what generation it was. You know, Super Ghouls and Ghosts was amazing. That was pretty. Damn good. you, Capcom! You're fucking good at music. To your side. Again, Super Madness did that as well. Super Madness. Oh god, I'm gonna fucking talk to those guys. Yo, let us sponsor you guys. Give us albums. Come on, bro. <laughs> oh no, my god, I, I, I gotta ask this. Did I finish a beer already? Is that your second beer? Yeah, it is my second beer. I am lagging behind. And it is halfway done. Oh my god, look but at this. No, you're oh, not lagging god. behind. I just have a problem. <laughs> anyway. Well, I used to be the super duper pounder. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, and, yeah. I'm, I'm trying not to. I'm sorry. And the and, and Michael would like, you know, not. He like, I'm going to sit and all and enjoy it all. I'll, I'm not going to lie though, man. I'm not going to lie. When he had a good beer, he had a good beer. And I like yeah, to savor right? it. And he would love to blast his freaking 16-bit music. Oh my god, I would... No. Imagine. No, I think that's, I would, that's I would, more Prince. No, nah, that is... No, that's Daniel, dude. That's, that's Daniel. Fat Daniel. That's Daniel. 100% Fat Daniel. That's the guy who got me to Disgaea. Oh, oh we're not there yet. We're, we're not, not there, there yet. yet. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. But, um, let me think. What else? I mean, what can you think more about Super Nintendo, Sega? I mean, Secret of Mana? Right. Well, we could talk about the sound differences for a Oh, while. God, Jesus Christ. How did I yeah. miss freaking Chrono Trigger? You bitch. Put it down, and I 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 put it down, you know, and like you had Square with Final Fantasy, you had Sega with freaking Fantasy Stars and all that. Mm-hmm. But you know, but nothing cool. could touch Chrono Trigger. Nope. I mean, these, these all came out at the same time, but hey, ain't nobody remember that shit. Nobody wants to play Beyond Oasis over Zelda. Beyond Oasis. It's better than Zelda. It's better than. You know. <laughs> probably not. No, it's probably not, you know. I mean, I played it, it was pretty good. Yeah, I love me I some like, Zelda, like though, man. Game. I'll you say this. Good. I love me some Zelda. Oh, dude, fucking Zelda's the best. I mean,. Like, let's say this, you know, let's say you have nothing to do, you're in a desert island, you got yourself some Zelda, that would be a good-ass time. Oh, God, dude, when we get to the 64 era. Oh, my God. When we get to the 64 era. Oh, my God, Golden Eye sucked! But anyway, yeah! um, saying so, like like I said, um, which I didn't say, actually, the Sega Genesis had a... Um, had really focused on the bow bow kind of sound. Well, yeah, I mean they com. they lacked the sound. They lacked the sound. It, it was a weaker chip, though. We were gonna admit this, but they really knew how to work around it. Oh yeah, dude, definitely. Now saying that, Super Nintendo had a fucking nice sound chip, and you could tell from oh, the music yeah. had. But there's one thing I always hated. It was semi muffled, and all the explosions sound like 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 they're exploding miles away. You know, every explosion it could be up to your face. Explosion miles away. You know. I mean, no, I, I, get, I, I, get, hate, no, no, I get what you mean. I, mean, I don't like that muffled sound, man. Uh-uh. I love the music, but I hate when it's muffled. All right. you know? I hate that shit. Like, why? But, I mean, yeah, when music come, came around with that, man, I mean, you couldn't stop Nintendo with that. I mean, but, I mean, again, it's, it's hard to debate that because, I mean, Master. Sega, Sega's that. Because <laughs> Sega had their, Sega had freaking gems. I mean, geez. I could think of like a lot of like the like a Virtual Fighter soundtrack. Ooh. Dude, it's all. But when you're playing, I mean, like, what? Now you play games like Soul Calibur and mm-hmm. Tekken. So you're like, okay, cool. It's modern music. It's cool. Which, I, I, oh, we'll talk in depth about that once we get to Tekken. Because Tekken, mm-hmm. actually, I love music. Yeah. But, you know, they, back then, it was like, you know. David. And you're like, holy shit, this shit makes me feel like I'm a fucking, like, hopeful person in an arcade. And then whoa, I slap my quarter down next to freaking fucking this dude, and then he just whoops my ass, and it's like, well, then that was my quarter. Is that Tekken? Yeah, that, that was thing in Virtual Fighter. Oh, but Virtual yeah, Fighter. You know, oh, but that, that being said, with the floaty jumps and all that shit, yeah! Mortal Kombat, <laughs> I'm fucking, you know, it's not really known for its music, but it did have kind of like an atmosphere to it. Yeah, it did. And it's all like, doom, doom, Everyone knows. But then it's like, doom, doom, doom. It's about blood. <laughs> You're right. Fucking so that was a bad example of music, but 
Yeah. Mortal Kombat. You know, I'll Mortal say this too. I'll say another bad example of music would be uh, Victor Man. As yeah, Victor Man had a kind of ass crap. The music was really great, man, but you could tell um, what happened with that game. I mean, a lot of people say that people who had even had a PlayStation 1 would go back to play Victor Man because how good it looked. But saying that, a lot of uh, the levels were rehashed. Like, this one level was rehashed, like, t- three times. This other one was twice. And the music was, like, it was forgettable. They tried to compete with Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong is overrated. Nah. I no. Really oh, shit. I really dude. love Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Dude. It's great. Seriously, though, how do we forget about Donkey oh, right? Kong? Oh, right? <laughs> That Donkey Kong 2, which is the best Donkey Kong out of all of them. Mm-hmm. Shut up, you can't freaking say that. Freaking, if, nobody likes Donkey Kong 3. Donkey Kong 3 is amazing. But yeah, no, I mean, part 2 just had the best music. I, I Like, the whole pirate theme was fucking the amazing part about Donkey Kong 2. Yard. I mean, like, you know, uh, Donkey Kong Country 3 had a country theme. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country 1 had a jungle theme. Mm. So, I mean... But no, I loved oh, Even the music in part one was pretty cool. I mean, like, the, the freaking the oil drum areas and shit. Like, dun, 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 dun. We don't have the licenses as, and um, I'm pretty sure they can't sue us for going boop, ba, da, boop, boop, dee, Especially dee, if we're just fucking booping, booping our favorite songs. I mean, shit, we're gamers. We, we're allowed to do this yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all the fucking executives, you know, after they do the light of the blow, they're like, okay, yes. come on, come on, play the actual audio clip. We just want to sue you. Yeah, know, right? But, you know. but no, I'm, I'm a, like I said, there's... I mean, you know, that's a Sega. We're I mean, I know some people, some people are probably like, dude, you, you suck at doing that, but hey. Doing what? The sounds, the songs. Okay, first of all, who the fuck go to a concert to a guy goes boop bop boop, you know? Imagine this. In the name of boop. <laughs> Tell me in the name of boop. It doesn't sound like the song. Oh, wait, wait. How about, it doesn't how about sound this? like a song. Oh, dude, the Power Rangers game for Super Nintendo had badass music. No, no dude, I'm going to say this. Sega Genesis one was better, dude. Trust me. I know. And I would walk 5,000 uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give the sound effects to freaking the Super Nintendo one because the sound effects on the movie for Sega Genesis sound balls. Yeah, it did. It was like a... Like, <laughs> So like, what am I playing this on a Super Nintendo? Okay, no. <laughs> uh, get it? Uh, get it? Get yeah, it? Because we're, we're, we're usually bragging <laughs> about the... Oh, dude. How the fuck did we forget Doom? Because... Oh, wait, because Doom technically was a PC... Oh, Doom's a, a PC Doom, game. Doom, it was 32-bit, Doom, Doom, I believe. Doom, 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 but it was ported to the fucking uh, Super, Super Nintendo. Nintendo. And it had... Da, 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 okay. Da, 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 da. They actually... Wait. No, I'll say this, though. They actually did the... They redid the music for the fucking Super Nintendo, and it was good, man. You know, I, and, uh, you know what's crazy? It's yeah. like that... I mean, I'll, you know, I'll listen to the real one. Yeah. But because I grew up with the Super Nintendo one... Yeah. The freaking sound is like it, it sounds so weird listening to the rig, rig, the PC one. Yeah, no, it's like, you're like this sounds like it's crap compared to. The all right, I'll say one though. There's two versions I love the most, and I'm not talking about the re, the, the the mod. I'm talking about two versions: the PlayStation one, which was nothing compared to the old one. It was different music, but it was atmospheric and made it kind of creepy. I love that. And the um, and the one that came with Doom Three, you know the oh yeah, yeah anniversary yeah, version. Yeah, the, the the collection one, you know, for the for mm-hmm. Xbox, uh, the original Xbox one. It, yeah, Xbox One. <laughs> the original <laughs> Xbox One. <laughs> it came in a. I got the one that came in a silver tin, and um, the game actually came with uh, part one and part two. But it was semi fit. Not semi fit. The music was altered a bit. Uh, but the music sounded much fucking better, dude. It was so... It's fucking... It was awesome. I loved it, you know, compared right. to PC one. Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. But I'm saying that, though, the first Doom I did play was PC, and it was from... I got that shit from, um... Uh, 99 Cent Store. I what went is, there, I saw Doom, like, what? Awesome. And it came with the, the, the original levels from Knee Deep in the House. So I grabbed that shit, booted it up, tried to figure out how to put audio in the son of a bitch, and when I did fix it, oh, I oh, could not oh, stop... Oh, oh. Here's a funny thing, though. Once I actually... <laughs> Once I actually, uh, I got the sound working, after I beat it the 50th time, I'm like, I'm gonna put some different music. So I put, you know, the Misfits, and then I would put fucking, I kid you not, Slim Shady. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, dude, we need, to do, we need to do a whole episode of mods. Yeah. Oh. That'd, be, that'd be interesting, because I've done, I've done my fair share of modding back then. Mods of shit. Uh, what else, what else, I mean, like, we talked, you know, a lot about the current system, well, the past system, 16-bit. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know we're missing a lot of gems. I mean, there's a lot of good songs out there. I mean, we can't name them all. No. Castlevania, freaking Bloodlines, and freaking such. But freaking, uh, but, I mean, like, there's so many freaking 
So, I mean, like, that's what makes us want to come back to these games. Yeah. You know, like that, you know, these, the sound effects, the, the sound effects, the music, I mean, like, like that, that joy of being, being there and listening to it at the first time, even now, takes you back to a time when it was, you know, not just like freaking current music that's like, hey, you know, I'm playing Transformers the movie, the game, you know, that's, and then the, back then, it was like its own kind of sound effects, you know? Oh my God. And I mean, like, you know, that's kind of like what's crazy about this, you know, that how, how music has evolved in video games, mm -hmm. which I still wish kind of stay the same. I mean, some companies still say the same. Bandai Namco, for example, Tekken and, and Soul Calibur, freaking, don't, don't, they're all, that's their own music, you know. It's, yeah. not, it's not, you know, uh, like, you know, current music turned into music, kind of, you know. I'll say, I mean, I could say all games do that, but I mean, like, I mean, they're, they're still one of the only companies I see that still kind of creates these... Like fucking epic, grab you by the nuts, fucking music, and drag you into the world. Now I'm gonna beg to differ. Oh, now here's why. Because I and, and I hate to say that that I hate. To, I, I'll say this: I don't like people who play fucking chip music um, in their cars or retro fucking music in the cars. Because like, God damn it, stop doing this shit. But if you put Hotline Miami 2, I will fucking spit fire because uh. that soundtrack is electro. Goodness, right? Oh my god, I mean, like, one thing, one thing, I mean, like, we're probably not gonna talk about it, so we might as well talk about it. Like, a lot of the new current handheld games have a lot of music, uh, a lot of good music. I'm, I don't want to talk about it right now, but what I'm saying is, you know, yeah. just for that little touch right yeah. there of it. Like, Damn. You know, we'll, maybe we'll create a bonus episode on that, but I believe for the moment we're kind of done with this. Yep. I mean, like, 16, 16 came and went, 8 bit went, came and went. Mm -hmm. Like I said, there's lots of songs we could talk about, but we'll be here all day. Yeah. But, you know, we'll stop it at that for now. We're planning a series. We're doing a series of game music, so you know, for this week, where we're, we're good with the eight and sixteen bit. Tune in next time. We'll be doing sixty four and one hundred and twenty bit. Whatever. Thirty two and sixty four. Thirty two, sixty four, and whatever I think PlayStation, PlayStation two. Which, I think the PlayStation was a uh, thirty two, sixty four. And after when the PS two and the game. And you want to do a different episode for that one? Well, I want to do uh, the mid generation, which was like the Jaguar sixty four and. and um, All right, so shit. PlayStation Two, PlayStation Three will be a total, and then we'll have a whole episode just for PS4 and shit. What? Or oh, wow. or three, them all up together. Yeah. We'll tie them up, nice little bow, you know. Mm -hmm. Because then, let's face it, we'll, we'll have like one sentence for the PS4 and stuff. It's like it's modern music. I'll just say the PS4 was the PS3, the Xbox One was the Xbox 360 slash one. So we're not gonna even touch those new shit. Yeah, let's not touch the new yeah, shit unless we have something. You know, so we were, I already retro, talked about Tekken and Soul Calibur, so we'll talk about school. more about those later. But yeah, so all right, so that's about the end for the episode. Um, we'll be seeing you next time. Let's cut the shit. Okay. All right, congratulations, you guys made it to the end of the episode. I want to give you guys a, a special shout out to Super Madness. Madness, 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 madness. These guys fucking rock, dude. dude. They, they fucking the retroized fucking old school NES games, and they put fucking badassness, badassness into, it. into it. These they, guys are awesome. They dude. just released their new album, Gothic Warriors, and it features Holy shit. yeah, it features songs from Castlevania Three and Batman, as we said in the episode. Yeah, man, it is NES, Batman, NES, freaking Castlevania 3. So you know that shit's gonna fucking all just right. rock your ears, dude. All you, you guys, know it. All you retro guys out there, you guys will love this shit. I mean, it's fucking badass. Yeah, stop yeah. living in the past, fucking rock out with these guys, because they'll fucking just I mean, retroize look, your, look, your look young for, power. <laughs> look for their band camp, Super Mad NES, like, that's how you kind of spell it, all together, uh, .bandcamp.com, you'll find it, and, you you know, follow their social media at, medias at Super Mad NES. You know, and you, you know they're they're fucking badass. They listen to blasters and daggers. I fucking love that album. That was awesome. Because that's actually. Mega Man yeah. X. That that has Mega Man X and Super Ghouls and Ghosts. If you guys are 16 bit era like us, then yeah, you guys will love that shit. I'm the uh, 37 bit era though, motherfucker. I don't bam. Give a fuck. It don't matter because I'm the gutter cat. And I'm the lo fi beatnik. And you just heard some stock babies. Go suck a fresh one. What? Why would you do that? Why well, you... Be because.